one of the biggest like issues like conversations I have with people back home is like, oh, um, Bernie Sanders is socialism. Like, no, it's democratic socialism. It's completely different. Oh, I love different. this question. I love this and question. Not. And I, like, it's, I, I just want to know what's like, the hours. best like, punch back line to come at yeah. that, because that's always the thing. He's a democratic socialist. So, like, oh. so first of all, there's a great PragerU video about this that Steven Crowder did. Uh, excellent, excellent. Um, is, so don't fall for that. I mean, democratic socialism, you know, the people's social, it's socialism which inherently means the following. It is immoral, it is evil, it is impractical when put in practice. So you should say this, under the banner and guise of democratic socialism, which is a term that Joseph Stalin used, which is a term that uh, Lenin used, which is a term that Hugo Chavez used, which is a term that Fidel Castro used, which is a term that Pol Pot used, which is a term that Mao used, 100 million people died in the last 100 years. 100 million people died under democratic socialism what Bernie Sanders wants to bring to this country. He wants to bring an ideology that killed people and is killing people to this day. We have a regional director, Joanna Rodriguez. Her family's from Venezuela. She does amazing work. Families from Venezuela, they're eating dogs in the streets. The average Venezuelan has lost 36 pounds in the last year. They're dying of starvation. But you know what? Their leader, Maduro, he's gaining weight. He has champagne at nights, and he eats caviar on the balcony window while the people thought that they voted for and supported a democratic socialist government. So what really happens in socialism, is, is, to put simply, is the poor will never get richer, but people who have anything will get equally poor. So you're equal, we all love, they love equality, the left loves equality, right? Well, you'll all be equally poor, and the very, very about a couple thousand people will be so magnificently rich, and they'll have everything and control the entire country. And so, again, I would respond to that with questions and ask all, everything I said back in question form. But I believe the biggest failure in human history in the last 100 years has been our inability to recognize the failure of socialism. And the fact that it's here now on our shores horrifies me.